Hey guys, it's Lizzie with The Real Deal. I am back doing another crochet tutorial. Okay, so I mean, I don't know if I'm actually doing a really good job or not, but I'm trying because again, I still have a lot of people asking me, hey, how did you make that? Or how can I do this? Or how can I get started with crocheting? Okay, crocheting, basically, the only thing you really need to get started with crocheting is a crochet hook. And you can buy these at any store. Um, Walmart seems to be my place because we don't really have a lot of crafting stores up here except for like Michael's and Joann's in my area. Um, but you definitely need a crochet hook and you need some yarn. Pretty simple, right? Um, to practice crocheting, to make anything with crocheting. Okay, so I seem to go with like the super savers because they're just, the yarn is really pliable and it's a little bit of a thicker yarn and it comes in so many colors and I just happen to like this yarn. So in today's tutorial we are going to work on a single, what a single crochet, yeah sorry, a single crochet stitch is. So first off we're going to start with number one, what is the first thing we start with? A slip knot, woo slip knots yay. And if you watched my last video on how to do a foundation chain, here we are going to do a single crochet foundation row. Okay, so we are going to chain 10. One, and for those of you that are not sure how to chain, you can either watch my last video or you can wrap your, make your you can make your slip knot however you were taught. This is just the way that I personally like to make my slip knots and I'm not doing a very good job this afternoon or this evening. Okay, so here's my slip knot. I'm going to tighten it up on my hook a little bit. Okay, we are going to wrap our yarn around our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten is my magic number. Now when we're we want if we wanted to actually crochet ten, we're gonna need one more for a turning chain. So we're actually gonna do in a chain eleven. This first chain is not going to count as one of our chains. Now, we are going to do, learn a single crochet, but we are also going to learn how to do the rib stitch, okay? The rib stitch is basically, chain. we're doing a single crochet, so go in, pull out a loop, but we are, where are we going? We are not going, we are not going into this one, we are going right into here, and I'm not going into the two loops like I normally would go into. I am going into this top loop only. Okay, this very top loop, one loop, pull up, bloop, and we're going to do that single crochet all the way across. And the reason I am showing you guys this is because a lot of the hats that we do, so we're doing a single crochet all the way across, you should have 10. This is my number four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more makes ten. Okay. So the reason I am showing you this particular back loop type of uh, stitch is because a lot of your hats and even like the simpler scarves and things, if you do this stitch it makes it look so pretty and it makes it look so hard to do. In reality it's really not that hard. So okay we're doing a single crochet so it's going to be a lot of little ribs. Okay so this is Again, what it, when we're done, we come down to do that last stitch, 10. 
we are going to chain one and we are going to turn our work and we are going to be working in these back loops only the back loop so I am not going I am not going here okay I am going back here and I'm going to pull up a loop one and I'm going to go in the back loop only two three four five six seven single crochets in the back loop only. Now if you noticed when we're doing this it's starting to recreate this little rib and that's why they call it the rib stitch. Okay so we're going to continue doing this for the next 10 rows. When I come back in 10 rows I will show you the finished swatch. Basically right now we are just doing a swatch on how to do a single crochet. Okay. I will be back shortly and you're also learning how to do the rib stitch. So single crochet rib stitch is what we're learning today. Okay so here I am coming back around to I am on row number 10 right now with our single crochet rib stitch. Okay. And as you see, I've been moving quite along. Once you get used to this, this stitch will become like your favorite for doing certain embellishments, like around the bottom of a beanie hat. If you noticed my hat in my previous um, videos, I had that nice rib stitch going around the side of it. I did that like pretty much all in double crochet with a very large hook because I needed to make a hat quickly. Um, and I didn't want to have to use take that much time. So here we have our 10 rows of our 10 stitches of our rib stitch and as you can see with this stitch it's pretty pliable it stretches pretty well and that's why it works really 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 well for hats. So maybe in my next video that I do this week maybe I will do an actual hat all in rib stitch and then I can show you guys how we we would sew that and put that together. Yes, I use the word sew. I realize that this is that is a foreign language to me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching because I know I'm enjoying crocheting with you guys and showing you certain little things. I am no by no means am I really a teacher or a master. I'm just trying to help those that have been asking me for videos and things of that sort. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy your holidays. Remember, have fun with what you're doing and keep it real because that's what I do every single day. Bye guys. Have a happy holiday.